Right. Uh, Dinuka, why don't you start with an introduction about yourself? Yeah, uh, I'm Dinuka Piesena. Uh, I studied Java Institute uh, for my BSc degree. And then I uh, went abroad, UK, uh, to uh, conduct my master's. Uh, I did uh, uh, my master's computer science in Anglia Ruskin University, Cambridge. Uh, after that, uh, I come back to Sri Lanka and started the, uh, my business, uh, which is the Nanobots IT Solutions, uh, which I am currently working. Uh, yeah, that's basically, uh, we are currently doing some uh, government projects and uh, as well as the private sector projects. Uh, we have around uh, 50 customers altogether on local market. And currently, we are trying to reach the international market as well. Right. Uh, so, can you tell us a little bit more about the company that you formed, Nanobots? Yeah, it, it was basically uh, formed in 2011. Uh, when it was when we were studying at Java and uh, Basically, it's the first stage in the PCJT level. So, it's me, uh, my colleague Prahas and two other partners were there. Uh, now, actually, it's only me and Prahas is uh, currently uh, doing the business. Uh, we Firstly, we named it Nanobots and we continue with that name. Uh, basically, uh, it started in 2011. Uh, right. We registered as a, a private limited company in 2015 in Sri Lanka. Interesting. So, uh, how did you first learn about the Java Institute? Uh, uh, I think, uh, as I remember, I heard it from my friend of school. I studied at uh, DSNRI College, uh, Colombo. Uh, then I uh, I heard it about uh, from my friend. So my friend and I uh, both joined together in 2011, uh, but he uh, left Java Institute after he did the PCJT. I, I have continued uh, to the uh, degree level. That's true. So uh, immediately after completing your degree, what was the first uh, assignment or first job that you took? Uh, actually, uh, I haven't done any uh, job uh, in the market. I mean, uh, the proper uh, job in the field. Uh, I have uh, immediately after the uh, degree I went to UK to, to do my master's in there I have uh, tried little small jobs like uh, website development and uh, web application development like uh, we were doing uh, odd jobs there uh, and uh, I have uh, I, I, I have been working in a, a wine shop the manager asked me to uh, develop a website so I did that job uh, then he asked me to work as the website developer for the company. So uh, that's the first job in the field I did. I that's the first experience. It's not in Sri Lanka, it's in the UK. Uh, I did, uh, I was working there like uh, one and a half years as a like website developer. That's the first experience. Then I came back to Sri Lanka and started the company, uh, reformed the company. So, what kind of experiences can you tell us from the time as an undergraduate at the Java Institute? Yeah, uh, that was an amazing time because uh, the staff was uh, very friendly and basically the lecturers are very friendly. We can ask anything from them and anytime. I mean, in the, even in the early morning or late night, we can ask them anything. They always uh, ready to help us. Or taught us or anything, and uh, the time was time in there was very uh, actually it's uh, uh, very fun and very very good as well. What can you tell us about the lecture panel? Uh, your experiences with them and what you felt about the teaching methodology at the Java Institute? Yeah, uh, actually the teaching methodology was uh, really good because uh, they were not uh, like spoon feeding us they always taught us to learn learn and search search and learn because uh, we have to uh, get something from them and we have to do more researches 
I think uh, that's the thing we we are here because the uh, without researching things we think we we can't do anything other than the studies. Uh, yeah, the lecture panel was really good. They always are ready to help us in the researches or the our projects, everything. Right. So, uh, then, what was the experience like uh, studying at Anglia Ruskin, and how did your your uh, time at Java Institute prepare you for that? Uh, yeah. For your further uh, study. Yeah, Java Institute uh, did an amazing job when. Uh, then I decided to, uh, when I decided to apply Java, uh, for the masters, uh, I have informed Mr. Bhat here. Uh, then they gave me a, a great support to for the uh, preparation period. Uh, then uh, they have arranged some uh, English tests as well. So then uh, it was very helpful for uh, early. Uh, settlement for there. Yeah. So what are your future aspirations, uh, Dinuka? Uh, actually, uh, main goal is, uh, my main goal is to bring my company to next level. That means uh, international level. We are trying currently uh, our company get some international clients and make some dollars to our country. So that's the main goal, actually. So I understand that uh, there's quite a number of uh, Java Institute undergraduates who are working at Nanobots as well. Yeah, basically so... we uh, we prioritizing the three people from Java Institute because we know how they uh, you know how they are studying and how their environment goes. That's why we prioritize in Java Institute. Students. Right. So uh, finally, is there any advice that you would like to give? Uh, the next, you know, the yeah. current undergraduates and next generation of uh, software engineers? First thing, uh, lecturers don't spoon feed there because you have to learn something. Uh, research and do everything by yourself. I mean, you have to research everything and uh, you can get uh, more than what lecturers give. They can, yeah, lecturers are always helpful for doing their jobs, but you have to uh, learn yourself uh, and hard work. You have to hard work to get where, where you want to go. That is actually very valuable advice. And on behalf of the Java Institute for Advanced Technology, I would like to wish you, Dinuka, all the very best in your future endeavors and that you can grow Nanobots even further and uh, achieve your goals. So thank, thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much.